it's, it's actually a first of a kind uh, tax amnesty scheme in the country. Yeah. It was launched by the federal government as part of the steps necessary to um, resolve the revenue challenge that the country is facing. As you know, we are no longer in the days when we make all of the money from oil. So all attention is now on uh, making revenue from taxes. And the attempt is to get in as many people as, as possible who pre previously were not paying taxes or the underpaying taxes or not even tax registered. So it's, a, it's an amnesty scheme that provides waiver of interest and penalties that ordinarily should have been applicable for defaults. People are complaining about multiple taxes. Now we're having a situation where there's this renewed, renewed vigor for uh, tax compliance. How do we balance both? Well, that's, that's actually a, a dilemma okay. because a number of people are complaining about uh, multiple taxation, but the available statistics in the country suggest that the level of tax penetration and the level of compliance is critically low. Let me give you some statistics. Okay. We told that we have roughly about 70 million income generating individuals, people who are engaged in productive activities in the country. Out of those 70 million, just about 14 million of people are registered with the tax authority. Mm -hmm. So meaning that four out of every five eligible taxpayers are not within the tax net, that's one. Nigeria's tax to GDP ratio is 6%. That's about the lowest you could find anywhere in the world. The average for most OECD countries is around 30%. Our next door neighbor, Ghana, is around 15%. Mm -hmm. Many countries are doing far above 40%. So those kind of statistics suggest that the level of compliance is significantly low. And what the government is trying to do is to get in as much of those uh, who are not compliant at the, at the moment to come and join the tax nets. Okay, there's this talk about much talk, less results. How are we sure this experience will be, this scheme will be different in, in this regard? I, I don't think we have an option other than okay. to succeed with this particular scheme. We are in a serious economic crisis Nigeria is facing serious revenue challenge. Gone were the days when we think we could go ahead and borrow to finance our infrastructure uh, and capital project, mm -hmm. but we no longer have the resource to be able to service those funds um, the, the, the way they should. If, if you look at our deficit to GDP uh, ratio, it looks very decent at about 2%, but we're spending well over 25% of our revenue to finance debt in this year's budget. So mm -hmm. it's no longer sustainable. And that's why I think federal government and in working together with all of the state governments are putting in all of their effort, their best foot forward to make sure that this scheme succeed. And we've seen a number of steps taken by the federal government and all of the tax authorities that point in the direction that this is likely not going to be the same uh, failed story that we've seen before. So what happens if as a taxpayer, I do not take advantage of the scheme or as an organization. So what happens? So maybe what we should say is, what are the benefit for those who take the advantage? And because those... if you fail to, mm -hmm. you then lose the benefit. So for example, if you fail to pay your taxes as and when due, you're liable to interest. At about 21%, uh, recently federal government uh, released a new, a new scheme that makes it 19%. Mm -hmm. So under the tax amnesty scheme, you will not be liable to pay 19% if you take advantage. Okay. There's penalty of 10% if you don't pay your taxes. Under the amnesty scheme, that 10% penalty is waived. If you don't pay your taxes, you are liable to tax audit, you are liable to uh, investigation, you are liable to criminal prosecution. What the amnesty does is to take away all of those penalties. So if you take advantage of those, you stand the chance of getting almost 30% interest and penalty waived. The period, which is six years, is covered from tax audit and investigation. You are immune from prosecution, and you are protected, and you are guaranteed confidentiality. If okay. this expires after nine months, because the scheme is only available for nine months, from 1st of July to 31st of March 2018, yeah. if you fail to take advantage of that scheme, it means you want the federal government to you know, enforce the law and, and, and subject you to all, all of the penalties that ordinarily should have been waived for you. So let's talk about that time frame. Is it long enough? Concerning looking at the complexities of, of things in Nigeria. There's, there's really not an enough time to do anything. But <laughs> what I think uh, taxpayers uh, and Nigerians need to do mm. is not to sit back and do the Nigerian thing. We're already one and a half months into this scheme, and I must tell you that the level of compliance and the response we've, uh, we're having is not at the rate that we, 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 we expect. So if, if the time lapses 
and federal government sees genuine efforts by people, by taxpayers to come forward, in my view, it's probably uh, not out of place to consider maybe another three months extension so that it takes us to 30th of June. But that will only happen if there is evidence on the table to show that a lot more people are still uh, willing to comply. But at the moment, what we see is that a number of people sit back mm -hmm. and trying to imagine, will it work, will it not work? Right. Is it the same thing? Is it a new thing? Now, let's talk about the tax authorities. Do you think they have enough manpower to fully implement this? Well, ca capacity is a challenge with, sure. with many of the tax authorities. But what the federal government has done is to actually uh, raise about 7,500 um, temporary staff to support. Okay. They call community tax liaison officers, CTLOs. So these individuals will support the efforts of the officials of FRS and officials of the various state internal revenue services. They assist with campaign, they assist with disseminating the information, and they are available to help uh, taxpayers through the process that is required. So what would you recommend as some sort of safeguard against the abuse of this tax amnesty? I, I, I think there's sufficient safeguard already within the scheme. Mm. First, this is backed by an executive order, so meaning that it's not just a mere pronouncement. Okay. So we have the regulatory backing to support it. And within that order is protection of you know, uh, privacy and confidential information. Because if I must tell you, in addition to the fact that we needed it to, to, to up our revenue, Nigeria is now a signatory to this global uh, exchange of information. What that means is that many jurisdictions around the world are going to share personal details, assets, and information of uh, our VIPs and individuals all around the world. So those, those schemes require some guarantee that my confidential information is secure with the, with, the government of, with the government and its officials. So my recommendation would be for the, 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 the implementation to run according to the spirit and the letter. Now, some critics would say that for a nation with such a low population when it comes to those paying tax, the focus should be on bringing people more into the tax net. And some are saying we're putting the cart before the horse. I think it all goes together. I okay. agree with, 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 uh, with the narratives that it is not just one uh, solution fits all. Our, our tax problem is more uh, uh, hydra-headed. We have sufficient challenge with paying taxes. We are ranked 182 out of 190. South Africa is around uh, 51. So we have significant gaps. We have significant challenges. We're going through a very tough time economically with the, uh, with the recession. But in, in, in spite of all, 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 all of that, I think there is still sufficient effort that the federal government is putting, uh, uh, putting on the table to, 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 to make sure that uh, businesses uh, do not suffer.